through this trash? Oh, fuck. Again, with my dad who showed me that movie when I was fucking 14. Um, yeah. And, and for, if you want to go way back, I've always heard the stories where he would like would rock me to bed, right, for, for nap time or whatever as an infant or a toddler. And he'd be singing Ronnie James Dio songs and put like Judas Priest and Black Sabbath on. And so like it's, it, it's not surprising where I am at this point with, with all of that. So anyways, here's to die, Trump die, or as many people call him Todd. Cheers to you. Love you, Dad. <laughs> oh my God. Uh. Hey, Jug, did I ever tell you about the time my sister? Jug, you're not gonna believe this. My sister, she, this is totally wild. My sister, she done, you aren't prepared to hear Not it. your sister, sister two-wheeler. She done said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over what? and over and expecting different results. Fuck you guys. I am, I am not fucking answering that. Uh, I guess I have no choice. Supply Depot. Bastard. Doctor's note, patient Magdalena von Schmidt. In order to treat your wife's pronounced hysteria, melancholia, you must be spared in any kind of emotional strain. She must avoid any objects or persons that might trigger an episode. I recommend one injection every two days until her symptoms start to improve. Daily injections are recommended during more severe melancholic phases. Dr. Drish, June 11th, 1908. Oh, it sucks. Oh. Thank you, Twy. I don't know where I'm supposed to necessarily go with that information, but here we are. <laughs> Fuck off. I crazy. No idea if it sounded important. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear for anything I may have missed, because I'm pretty sure I didn't grab some stuff. Hey up. Hey up. Hey up. Oh, uh, it's the right way. Oh, got that one as well. Oh my fuck! Jesus Christ, all oh, fucking mighty. Oh. Okay. Oh, fuck! Come on! Oh, I haven't dealt with that this entire fucking game. The entire time I've been going back and forth between that spot, and, and then you go and fucking do that to me. Jesus. The voice reminds me of the lady from SpongeBob. Chocolate! I remember when they invented chocolate. I've always hated it! <laughs> it's very similar. <laughs> oh shit. Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. <laughs> Thank you, Bud Cheek. <laughs> Weird, I had this pulled up, I thought the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> One token for a vending machine above there are strange religious symbols. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, it's a lock. Oh, it's like our locker. Oh, so you can. That'll work anywhere. Okay. I get it. I get it. 
Can't break that yet. And we got more chips. Fucking Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that? Why would you do that? Oh my God. I can't sell anything else there. So that's good. At least not yet. Anything around here I can pick up? I don't think so. All right, we'll just uh, we'll hit this now. Oh my fuck! Jesus! A small thing I don't really fucking need. That's cell nine. Cell ten. Cell eight. First floor. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. I recall this now. Me not? Of course, the fact I would give you the dining room key. <laughs> oh, fuck! What's up? How's it going? Joktober's going good here. We're having a good time. We are up of the 400. Oh! candles <laughs> and Elisa Lombardi also here the, hold on so the candles are for who exactly candles of the deceased okay so the ones that are on the list okay so Martina Rossi is on the list fuck you Sophie oh no Oh, time to find where the fucking power is, and I don't mean uh, the, I don't mean the one in the call. Wait, what's this little? Okay, there's a little light ghost thingy, like on the ground. See it? Oh! This bitch ass what got the me. Fuck? Okay, my voodoo has spawned. Spawned now. So the random mannequins, one of them will move and get you. It just got me. Oh fuck! Yes. <gasps> Oh, I have to push it? Okay. Yeah, push it. P push it real good. Boom. Okay, enough of that. Sorry. What am I do Can you put your... Little <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. See you later. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> These fucking games, man. <laughs> God damn it. There might be a way out after all. Fuck, fuck. Hold. Good evening, friends. Excuse me as I stretch and get stuck. Oh my god. Oh, of course you go live when I'm on a jog. Well, I mean, now you get some entertainment for a jog, I guess. Oh, all right. Hello, everybody. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Twy. Hope you're all doing shwell. Anyways, uh, so tonight is more than likely the final stream of Return of the Oberdin. Um, last time we uncovered every single clue in the game, and now it's just a matter of us 
putting everything together, which uh, is going to be interesting. And I told myself I was going to have a notepad somewhere. And... Uh, I don't think I... I thought I had a notepad up here. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, big time whoops. Shoes, what up, dude? Everybody, buy Shoes merch. Buy his merch. <laughs> um, back to my jog. I'm wearing an all-black hoodie, so that sucks. Got you tabbed. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. Jog safely. Um, post merch link? Yes. Shoes, feel free to... Uh, Put your put your merch link in there. Not Hartford Zone hate breed, of course, <laughs> dude. Hate breed's been in the uh, my music library since. Oh God, when did I find them? Uh, actually, what what year did this album come out? When did Perseverance come out? Uh, why isn't it telling me the year? 2002? So I probably found them 2003 or 2004, one or the other, because it was after Perseverance came out. But yeah, it's, it's been there for a long time. They're fucking great. They, they're the band turned at the collection of musicians that play known as hate breed turns 30 next year. And it's like, <laughs> e, there it is jogging, jogging, watching jugs. Perfect combo. <laughs> I mean, or you're watching a pair of jogging chucks. Why does my brain tell me to say these things? <laughs> God. Oh, Fourth wall, nice. I'm so glad people are using it. Yeah, it's real easy. That blows my mind. Same. <laughs> um, and then Rise of Brutality, I think, turned 25 this year. No, I'm stupid. I think it turned 20 years this year. Okay. Because <laughs> that was October 28th, 2003. In fact... A, a week from Saturday, it turns 20 years old. Jesus. My word. Naked Hardcore is just a thing all nutmeggers just know. It is in our blood. Of course, of course. Uh, That's like Massachusetts and Metalcore, like fucking Unearth and Shadows Fall and all that. Oh shit, you did shoes. I seen that anyone buy them yet? He actually made shoes? I didn't see that. Well, that's just... You have to. Well, now I want to go take a look at them. Ba -ba -ba. All that remains, yep. Oh. Yo, check this shit out. Is it the Jimmy Mr. Shoes? Some of that meat for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's demonic. There he is. Yo, look at look at these. There we go. So you've got your the Mr. Shoes and the Lady Shoes. Well, I couldn't tell you. I think the difference is that this is <laughs> this shoe is the black one compared to this one is the white one. I want to look closer. This is real cool. I'm bad. Baddest motherfucker in the world. Power! What's up, dude? Yo! Nine months? Uh, we just had a baby, a, a sub baby together. My word. Speaking of power. <laughs> yeah, these shoes are fucking cool, dude. They um obviously have like the converse appeal to them. I don't are they actually converses? I, mean, I don't. I don't know if they are. I don't think they are, but doesn't look like it from the label inside. But I mean, no, I wish. <laughs> hey, baby, daddy, <laughs> what up, dog? Maybe making low top canvas sneakers with Freddie on them. 
Oh my god, yes. For reference, everyone, not Freddy Krueger. This is Freddy shoes his cat. Yeah, these are fucking cool, dude. Size and fit. Do they have Bigfoot? I'm kidding. I'm sure they have. Uh, I think I'm like a 13 and a half. Fuck. I'll look at that later. Anyways. I hope you're all doing shwell on this lovely Thursday or pre-Friday, as we like to call it around here. Uh, for those of you that are not in the know and have maybe noticed uh, the bar at the top of the screen, it is Jugtober for the rest of the month. Just got back from the gym. Nice. About to eat what you eaten. Tell me. <laughs> Where's the heart that you are rocking the t-shirt? Dude, absolutely, man. I saw this in, um, I remember putting in my, uh, my bureau and I was just like, I went to take it out yesterday. I was like, nah, I'm going to save it for tomorrow. I always try to like have streamer merch for my stream days if I can help it. A foot long giggity. My word. Um, so we are at $574.94. That is up to date, um, as of right now. And which means we're a little over $25 away from the, uh, $600 milestone for the Steam game giveaway. Um, and we have, we've only given one away so far, but there are plenty, plenty left. Um, I'm trying to remember where the hell I put them. Uh, yep, yeah, it's exactly where I thought it was going to be. Um, so just to dangle the concept around you, that's only $25 away. Um, we have copies of Amnesia, The Bunker. That's the new one that came out this year. Uh, the Beast Inside. Uh, it's every everyone that I know that's ever played that has enjoyed it to some degree. Uh, the Convenience Store, a Chilizard classic. You know, we're big Chilizard fans here. Uh, Doom 2016 uh, completely revitalized that entire lore and series, and it's it's an amazing fucking game. Uh, Dying Light 2 Stay Human, a really good follow-up to what was an amazing first game a number of years ago now. Uh, Killer Frequency came out earlier this year. We loved it. We played it here. Um, can you save everybody, or would you let everyone die? Let me know. Uh, then, of course, Little Nightmare is one of my favorite games of the past, like, <laughs> 10 years. Um, plus, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big, like, soft spot for platformers. So, that was an easy one to get. And then, last but not least, um, one of the best survival horror games, uh, at least in this century, uh, I'd, I'd have to say, is the original Outlast. So... Yeah, we got, what, that's eight, two, four, six. We have eight keys to give away. So all it is, it's one giveaway, and you select which game you want when you get it. That's that. Um, so outside of that, we have coming up on Saturday. Yes, this Saturday, we're doing a VR stream. Um, I will be streaming the new um, Exorcist Legions uh, deluxe edition, so it's all the episodes in one game, apparently. I have no idea how long it is. Um, if it goes past one stream, it's all good. I will, um, I'll obviously follow up and finish it. I wouldn't just play half of it and then, then not come back to it. Um, sub -slut. Oh my goodness. What's up, Poli? How you doing, man? I think Dead Space and Outlast and RE7 are the best games of the 2000s. You know, I I think I'm right there with you, dude, honestly. I would I would probably add in the original Subnautica um to those three and make it four. I never get old of my it never gets old in Germany. I love you too, buddy. Um to all those who are who are here early, cheers to you all. We got uh, my last one for now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and get some more tomorrow because there's a bunch of new beers that are coming out. <laughs> we got the good old lovely Pucker Patch from Sour Not Sorry. The Pumpkin Pie Sour. Cheers. Oh, Jesus. 
We got a squirter. I knew power was in here, but damn. Cheers, everybody. Oh. All three are great games. Can we expect an RE7 VR sometime? Oh, God. RE7 was so new, and then DS and Outlast just dicked me down. You're outside of your mind. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, yeah, that, that's coming on Saturday. Um, next week, I'm still working on the schedule, but definitely for sure on Thursday, a week from tonight, um, we're not going to have the, the short game, indie game, conceptual Thursdays we typically have. Thursday is the new update, the new map, uh, and a ton of other content from the Outlast Trials. So uh, we're going to be playing that. I'm going to be, tr I'm going to try to squeeze my way in to play with um, Sassafras and probably um, uh, Mustache, Mustache Mickey and... Um, I don't know who else. I know there's a couple of people that are interested. I know Remy was on that list too of interested people. Do you have a team? Yeah, I think it's going to be a full team. Yeah. Um, if I don't end up on that team, I'll probably end up having space and I'll obviously open it up. Nice. Word. Now, I haven't been reborn yet. I think I have like three more. I need like three more tokens to get out. Sonic 1 and 2 got released on a physical copy on Switch. I heard about that. It probably... Uh, I wonder how it performs. Because <laughs> I remember playing uh, the first Subnautica on Xbox One. And that thing had a hard time rendering. I've been rendered into the middle of a ship before. And I'm like, how do I get out? <laughs> um... But uh, I didn't have that many problems in the second one. Granted, I was also playing on my PC here and not uh, an Xbox One. Um, so yeah, uh, Outlast Trials on Thursday night next week. Um, and then I'm going to probably open up a poll on the Discord very soon. Um, by the way, if you're not part of the Discord and you are not inundated with other servers you're in, and you don't want to have the extra stress of another server, think about joining ours. It's pretty awesome. Um, it's where the Jug Mob hangs out. We ask each other, we have a, uh, we go and we have little debates in the questions of the day, like every day, it's really funny. Um, and a slew of other goofy ass channels, but um, there, there's a channel that we hold polls in, and I'm trying to plan out when we can do the Jackbox uh, community night. Um, I'm also, I guess there's a new Jackbox party pack that just came out. Oh, look, I'm getting a phone call 32 minutes into my on call. I'll be right back. For real. All right, let's check this. Good for the consequences of own actions. Oh yeah. What's this? Paper knife. What's this? Cup. What's this? Bottle. Okay. Great. <laughs> oh, this is the bathroom. Okay. Now <laughs> Fuck me in the dick hole, mother Child's play. I honestly though. <clears throat> What the hell does this go to? Yeah, it could go in any. <laughs> Fucking dick. <laughs> I, I was focused, so good call on your part, but you're still a dick. Just peed. I try to try to guess the puzzle ahead of time, and I always wait. Over <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck? 
Oh, fuck. Goodbye. We're done. Fucking God. Oh. I figured she'd be over by the stairs again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, she was right there. Key to toilet. I'm just a widow guy and it's my birthday. I'm a widow birthday boy. I'm just a widow guy. Ooh woo. <laughs> what do I fucking do? Oh. Oh. Upstairs? Oh! <laughs> ah! Holy shit! Oh my god! Alright, sorry about that, everybody. I was just had to, uh, the good news with most of the on call stuff, I say, I say most, hold on. I did knock on a piece of wood. Um, most on-call stuff is, are things that I just have to send an email on and say, no worries, I'll take a look at it. And I look at it tomorrow. Usually not a big deal. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be a time where I'll get an actual outage that I have to worry about, and it's gonna fucking derail stream, and it'll suck, but um, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's a bummer. Uh, I would have loved to have traded it away so that I didn't have. I wouldn't have to be on call during this month. But uh, so for that reason, I think I'm gonna hold off on doing a spin. Uh, at least tonight, I gotta judge and see how things are going for the next uh, for tonight into tomorrow. Um, but I'll probably do it. I'll probably do a spin on Saturday. Uh, but anywho. Um, I'm going to open up uh, a notepad document, well, notepad plus plus, uh, keep that over to the side, and I'm going to try to keep notes there on, on how Oberdin's going to go, because this shit's going to be wonky. Anywho, join me. <clears throat> Oh, so let's see. Yeah, we never got past three fates, but we got those done quick. Last played 10, 12, it was last Thursday, we could go. We've played for three and a half hours. Um, so I feel like we probably rushed to this point um, to get all the clues, and I probably should have gone a lot slower <laughs> to go step by step. Um, so we may be in some trouble here, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, now it's raining. The storm is basically here. Um, Cause this guy in the boat was like, we gotta get going. And uh, well, it can't get going yet. But have a, uh, Oh, I didn't know I could actually click in here. Oh, okay, I see. Huh. I didn't know I could click on that. That is interesting. Yeah, so there's different events happened. So it started up here. Loose cargo back in, in England. Went down. And just... 
off the coast of, uh, I think it's Portugal. It's right there, and then Spain's the rest of that big bit. It's a bitter cold, and then we have murder down by the Canary Islands, calling unha uh, unholy captives, soldiers of the sea. Yeah, they tried to turn around at this point. The doom. Now, oh, that's when the uh, the fucking kraken showed up. Uh, escape, and then the end. They never made it back, obviously. <laughs> But cool, you can like select different parts of that. Okay, got it. And then here's our deck plans, and it shows um, different events. This is actually the calling. Is uh, so I, I can go through and go bit by bit through this again. And it's interesting too, because the first thing I found was this, which is the end part one. <laughs> it's like what? How did I find the end first? And this is actually where we are right now. The footprints. Um, and then the things, if these have little bookmarks, because I've bookmarked them, I don't really know why I, I was just bookmarking things to bookmark things, so I know that that's not going to be super helpful. Um, arrows indicate the flow of time, uh-huh. Oops. Um... So there's that, and then we have the crew, which we have kind of, we whittled down a couple people so far. So we know that Robert Witterell, Captain, he um, unfortunately committed suicide um, after he killed a bunch of people, it seems, because William Hoskett, the first mate, he had killed uh, via shot with a gun. And then... Oh, that's Abigail got crushed by the rigging. That's the other one we got, right? Everything else is like we've kind of added stuff in as we've found it. Like this person got clubbed, but we don't know by who. <clears throat> but the idea is that we have to determine either the what happened to this person or whereabouts they are. Um, and there's 60 of them, so quite a bit. And then here's some sketches of the people that are on boat. So, for instance, that's Abigail Hoskett Witterell. Um, she was crushed by the rigging. And I'm pretty sure uh, Captain's right here. Yep, that's Ro Robert Witterell. Is William Hoskett, first mate. Edward Nichols is his second mate, so on and so forth. So there's a bunch of different people here. Um, that we have to be concerned about. <clears throat> so this one, this unknown soul was crushed by falling cargo. Am I able to see... Oh, he's only this one memory is when he gets crushed. Make way, coming through. Or lobster, eat the tiller. Lower away. Oi, wait, wait. No, down below. Wham. Patient of the corpse. It's right there. Twelve others were present. Obviously, that dude was there. He was crushed by the cargo. He died of illness. Illness. Shotgun. Unknown. That's Hawk Sing Lu. Oh, there's a ton of people here that saw that. And an unidentified stowaway expected free passage eventual freedom was instead crushed inside a falling barrel. Oh yeah, that's who that was. <laughs> he, he was a stowaway. Uh, the corpse is moved post-mortem. Well, there's a present for that. So... Oh, three dots. This is a deduction rating. A higher rating means that it will be more difficult to reduce the versus, uh, versus, yeah, Okay, I didn't even see that before. Okay, cool. So, we'll go through and try to find someone that doesn't... Okay, it's a one. This is a little bit easier. <laughs> um, this unknown soul succumbed to a tragic illness. It's in three different memories. Of 
corpse was moved post mortem. Twenty two others were present. The first memories, he was there at that part, okay. And Parish in a bitter cold part one. We know that show memories on deck map depicts an underway sketch. I just noticed this. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. Use the book and the pocket watch together for information to deduce their identity. You visit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifests, and artist sketches, pages two through four, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. There were six people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Dec decisive information is rare. You have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Fuck. Right? Um, what's the rest of the stuff that's here? Fate validation? This may or may not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information types it into the book. I mean, okay, I didn't think it was actually gonna check it for me. That's interesting. Didn't know that was a thing. Deduction rings, we understand at this point. I just wanted to go through it anyways. Uh, using the book generally. <clears throat> Review conversation on each page and note any names that are mentioned. Oh, is it Syed? Refer to the ship map and pay attention to the labels of rooms where people or objects are found. Deduce origins, roles, and relationships from depictions in the artist's sketch. We figured out who the artist was, too, because his initials were ES. Use the manifest CL crew and passion information in one place. I don't know how we'll be able to mark the stowaway's name. It's going to be kind of weird. Origins can give clues to a person's appearance or accent. Oh, that's true. I think I did that. Roles can give clues about where people are found on the ship and their relationships with others. That's true. Each person's manifest number is unique and may be useful in identifying them. Cool. And then bookmarks. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Oh, I have to click, I think. Oops. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Use the buttons at the top of the page to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. Oh. Uh, I want that bookmark. It's not bookmarked. Was this go all the way to the back? Yep, okay. Oh, it only bookmarks one thing at a time. Okay. Ah! Jesus. Shannon, what's up? Welcome in, friendo. How you doing? It was moved post-mortem, so where did it happen? All 
Alright, so this was on the Orlop deck. Which is beneath the gun deck, which is beneath the main deck. So this is the... I have to go down two flights of stairs towards the back. Okay. You guys finished watching Halloween 2? That's a good one. Alright, now I think... Why did everything change now? Wait a minute. First memory. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. <sighs> Thanks, Shannon. Oh, okay, I went to the wrong part of the ship. I'm dumb. Alright, so I have to go where I'm looking, head to the right. Is this him right here? Oh, it's to my right. Right here. Okay. Boom, boom. That's me right now because this sound scared me too. <laughs> Good. Okay. I think this is Syed. Yeah. He was a seaman. <laughs> India. There's definitely a couple of people that sound Indian, but there's also, I was going to say, some Russians too. I wonder if Unknown is that one person we can... There, but uh, because he, he was thinking, Syed, get up, drink. And they're trying, it looks like they're trying to get him to drink here. Well, he's got, he's holding the light up. This dude's like, bro. This guy's like, yo, hey, get up. Yep, that's definitely him. Alright, I'm gonna say that's Syed. Now, how he died, I don't fucking... Well, we do know how he died. Yeah. Oh. Three more feats, correct. Let's go. Oh, the artist. Yep. Crushed by a terrible beast. <clears throat> oh, it marks the lines. I see. Cool. Okay. So, uh... Go back here. A bit of cold. We can remove his, uh, bookmarks. So now, who's this? He also succumbed to a tragic illness. Not him. Not him either. I think these dudes are the Russians. Who's in here? Who's that? 
I wonder if that's helpful. Fifty-nine is George Shirley, who is an English seaman. We know he must have been sleeping here. Yeah, look, they all have numbers on them. That's really peculiar. Okay, cool. Can't go any further than that. We gotta know who this guy is, too. Oh, that's him! He's number 51. Renfred Rajib. Cool. I'm pretty sure that's him. Um, see his memories on the deck map. Was the bitter? Yep, he was. So he was there. You know that. But then part two is where he died. How do we get to part two? I think I have to go to his body. What is this game? So this game is Return of the Oberdin. So this is so we're basically showed up on this this boat disappeared. Um and we found it and we're trying to solve the mystery of basically, you know, what happened here. And a lot of crazy shit happened. <laughs> basically everybody most people are dead. There's these giant fucking spiders and shit and there was like uh at one point there was a, a big old kraken. So we've got all of the we got all the clues. And we've seen everything that happened. We're just piecing everything together. Spider is massive. Yes, correct. <laughs> so we just determined who this person is right here that's in the body bag. I think this is the guy we care about now. Yeah, it is. Okay. <clears throat> well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, lung consumption. <coughs> Made worse by the cold. We it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <coughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. Yep, that's him. And this is the doctor. Yep. Uh, he's the one of the mates. And who are you? Oh yeah, I remember your face. Okay. Ah. <sighs> is that dude who was over him earlier? And you. The other Indian dude. Okay, so I think I got that one right. This is like a mystery horror game, basically. Yeah. Um, very light on the horror, I would say. So I think this dude was right. Uh, I think we made the right choice there based on that little tidbit. Uh, large cow was slaughtered for its meat is part three. Uh, and that's it for that. Can I go back to this part one, though? The chapter one, rather. I think this needs to be unknown because he. Unless, of course, that is. Oh, we can't deduce them anyways. That's right. That's why I moved on. Interesting. I like it. It's different. Oh, it's definitely a different type of game. It's good. Um, that says it's a one, but we basically... I think we got that anyways. This one is... We know who that is. He was actually... That was confirmed. This is their last th set of three. Oh. Okay. So we can actually... 
deduce who killed um, Hawk Sang Lao, apparently. He was a passenger shot with a gun by who we don't know. Um, oops. First, I want to remove all the bookmarks. I want to bookmark these memories. And then we'll show memories on the deck map. So he was part of... It was in part one and then part two he died. Part one was Nunzio Pasqua passenger was knifed by Edward Nichols, second mate. Hello? Who is there? Who is there? Is someone hurt? Eh? Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Hello, yes, all fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. Watch your step. Here, let me help you. Two others were present. Nunzio, Ox Sang Lao, and Nichols. So the second mate, a passenger, Yeah, so in the passage, this passenger kill, gets killed by the second mate with a knife, and then the next dude, Hawk Sang La, was shot with a gun by somebody, but there was 28 others present, including second mate Edward Nichols. Oops. I think we ought to head over to the location of the corpse to figure this one out. It's on the main deck. Oh, it's time, baby. It's the LEG show. Holy shit. Welcome in, everybody. Luciferus, welcome in. Monster Peace, welcome in. Corn's here. Holy shit. That was some good dun 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 there. Like I said. Chunky Jugs, baby. LEG, baby. What's up? Welcome in, friend. How you doing? Uh, how is everybody? I hope you're all having a lovely day. I hope you can deal with my white fucking face, because this... This game is very bright. Um... In fact, yeah, it's gonna make it darker. Oh, God. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Alien Corn. Um... Let's get my face is that white naturally. I mean, same, though. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, no, we're good, we're good, just hanging out with, uh, with some Jugtober madness. Um, let me hit pause Woohoo! real quick. Oh, Monster Piece, thank you so much for the follow, welcome to the mob, happy to have you. So, uh, really quick, um, introduction for myself, for anyone that doesn't know who I am. Uh, I am the Juggernaut, you can refer to me as Jug, or Juggy, there's, uh, all different ways that people call me. Um... But, uh, oh, thank you, Allie. I was going to mention that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm a CEO of Scream along with, um, with Allie G uh, and Cornhusk, by the way. If you haven't checked out the other CEOs of Screams, check out the Twitch team. We're pretty cool. Pretty cool bunch. Yo, Jeff's here, too. What's up, Jeff? Welcome in. Uh, so I play horror games, I'd say, 99% of the time. Um, the other 1% is made up by games. Uh... I I don't know this game's kind of has some horror influences there um or at least some sci-fi uh but like i'll play like clone hero on occasion or um some other random games that are definitely not horror games it does happen from time to time uh but this month is very important here uh here at the jug mob um we're actually uh oh shit Allie, thank you so much. You beat me to the punch all night. Holy fuck. Uh, so thank you, Allie, for the $20 donation towards uh, Jugtober and hope for the day. Uh, <laughs> charity pay pay. <laughs> yes. Uh, so every October, it is my uh, another trip around uh, the sun of being a streamer. So we're this is my... At uh, the end of this month, it'll be my official three years here on Twitch. Um, and it's been a hell of a fucking ride so far. But part of celebrating that year anniversary, I don't want to really make it about me because I I, just, eh. I wanted to do something special, though. And uh, one of my good friends and, and longtime followers here, uh, Treebeard, was like, hey, we should, we should do charity. And I was like, great. I like that idea. Do you have any recommendations? He's like, yes. 
and he threw hope for the day at me first and hope for the day is a nonprofit organization that uh, with the funds we raised for them they're able to use on different resources to help with um uh, not only mental health, but also uh, suicide awareness and prevention. Uh, some of it impacts pretty much everybody in one way, shape, or form. So uh, I- I'm very excited to continue this on. This is our third Jugtober. And uh, with-, with with Allie's very generous $20, we are up to $594.94. Uh, that means we are $5.06 away from the $600 Steam game giveaway. So if we hit six hundred dollars, we will actually uh, take a timeout from the game, and we'll have a little mosh pit to see who wins their choice of a Steam game key. Yes, yes, very much it is, very much it is. <laughs> Guys, I need money quick. <laughs> oh my god! So today being a different type of day. Um. So we've been playing this game for a couple weeks now. It's called Return of the Oberdin. And essentially, it's a big old mystery. This ship went missing. Um, we ended up finding it, and everybody's dead or missing. And we're trying to determine exactly what happened each step of the way. And I've been able to basically come up with a book of all these diff- all this information and clues and all this other shit, but now I have to confirm all this information. So we know this is Hawk Sang Lao. He was a passenger. Um, he was shot with a gun, but we don't know by who it was yet. So we're trying to determine who that was. And uh, that's what we're going to do right as Alley popped in. Oh, shit. An anonymous $50? My word. Oh, Ten dollars from Jeff? Holy shit. Let's fucking, Let's fucking go indeed. You're gonna lurk before bed, have an amazing stream? Well, you should if you don't want to stick around for a free Steam game giveaway, I understand that. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh but uh, for real though, thank you so much, Allie. Um for everything, apparently, this evening. Uh <laughs> just being fucking awesome. Oh, you're here? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> How you feel right now? That's fair. Good job, non tip really took the piss out of my <laughs> Jeff, stop it. That's not how it works, man. That all we're looking to do is get that total raise number as high as it can go. Whatever anyone is able to give is huge. You're part of the team and you're part of the ship, part of the crew. Damn it, now I'm on this fucking boat and I have to make pirate references. Um Okay then. Uh, let's, let's go, let's go do a Steam game giveaway, I guess. Holy shit. Um, oh, he's about to bust. <laughs> I don't know why I just said it like that. Um, let me get the King of the Pit set up. We got some good pit music going. I don't know. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> Doing the pee pee pants, pee pee dance, pee pee pants city. Oh boy. Bum, 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 bum. What's the charity for? Um, so the charity's for Hope for the Day, and Hope for the Day is a non profit organization that raises uh, money to spend on services for mental health, suicide awareness, and prevention. Uh, we've been doing it every year since, well, Every anniversary of my streaming, I've been doing this uh, for the whole month. And last year, we raised over $2,000. The year before that, the first one was $1,400. So we're um, actually with that. So real quick maths, we're over. Uh, we're over 4,000 total, do- 4, total raised across all Jugtobers, which is outstanding. You're so close to 1K, let's go. Yeah, I'm getting real close. We're only uh, 35, 35 souls away. Parts of the Caribbean is one of my favorite franchises. Hell yeah. Thank you, Corn. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Shannon. Yeah, yeah. Um, follow me over yonder. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, where is it? 
Ah. Uh, shit. There we go. Okay, so the way that this giveaway thing works, I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Uh, this is King of the Pit. Um, basically, in a few seconds, you're gonna see some automated uh, chat messages. You're gonna wanna do exclamation point dance to get in. Um, and then after a minute and a half, when everyone, when we give everyone enough, enough time to get back and hit the dance button, so to speak, uh, the mosh pit will break out and it's the last person standing will win the prize. Um, also in chat, you can do exclamation point bottle while the pit's going and a bottle will fly into the mosh pit. And if it hits someone, it does actually take health away from them. Watch out. You play roller derby. That's fucking awesome. Uh, so yeah. I hope you're ready, because it's time to fucking mosh. And the registration's open, so just all I do is exclamation point dance. Oh my god. Tree with an $11 and six... Oh, you bastard. I like what you did there. <laughs> $11 and six cents. Shannon with $10. We were there for at 666 for just a moment. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> Hello, Tree. Welcome in. All right, we got Demonic. We got Allie G. We got Jeff. We got Twy. We got Shannon. We got Tree. Who else wants in on this? We can't bottle yet. <laughs> it hasn't started. Uh, if anyone that just got in here or just realized that there was a... Uh, oh, God. I got to fix that. While this is doing that, I got to go fix the fucking... Oh no! I can't click off of it without it going away. I'll fix it later. But the, the next milestone is kind of broken. But the next milestone is in... Is that $24? And $24 will be the merch giveaway where we'll do a giveaway for one of each of the 12 new merch items from our store. Jeff cheating, ban him. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Anyone that wants to win a free game, uh, there's eight different games to choose from. They're just Steam keys. I'll give them to you via DM on Discord. All you do is do exclamation point dance and then watch the madness. But you only got 10 seconds left. <laughs> exclamation point cheat. Oh, no. All right. Well, I think that's going to close out. Here we go. Bottle it up. <laughs> I told you. Oh, someone just went down. Oh yeah, they're beating the tar out of each other. Oh, one's down. Or two, rather. Oh, another. An Ali G wins! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit, Ali G is your winner. <laughs> oh my word. You did win. <laughs> Yo, that was nuts. That got, that was taking a while to get through and then it just started fucking falling like dominoes. How could you all beat me up? <laughs> Ban everyone for hitting me. <laughs> Twice in there trying to do the Macarena. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't pee. All right, well, Allie, I'll make this quick for you then. Um, oh, shit, as I as I make it longer. <laughs> um, so I have a couple of games here to choose from. You get any one you want. Um, we have Amnesia, The Bunker, The Beast Inside, uh, Chilla's Arts, The Convenience Store, Doom 2016, Dying Light 2, Stay Human, Killer Frequency, Little Nightmares, or Outlast. Any of those. I can also send you the names separately through DM if you want. Or if there's one of them jumped out, you just let me know. That's why you got crowd killed. Hell yeah. <laughs> Doom. Hell yeah. It's, Doom 2016 is one of my favorite shooters. One more time? Okay. Amnesia the Bunker. So that's the one that came out this year. The Beast Inside, uh, Chilla's Art, The Convenience Store, Doom 2016, Dying Light 2, Stay Human, Killer Frequency, Little Nightmares, The Original Outlast. Yeah, Beast Inside was surprisingly good. I was, it's, it's a longer game, but the story is very good. And like the way they tell the story too. They should just be able to, I should be able to throw myself into that pit as like a pit boss. 
she, and it's like it has to have like all the different monsters have to in the bottles have to try to beat me to get something that'd be pretty cool actually i'm actually gonna log into tiltify while i have a second because i need to go make sure i'm missing anything here killer frequency is a fantastic fucking choice oh my god have have you not have you not played killer frequency yet oh if you haven't played it oof Ooh, it's so good. <laughs> the music is outrageously good too. Um, let me get you that killer frequency game key. And go to my DMs, Allie G. And boom. You are very welcome. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the donation. Um, thank you for participating, and if I, I'm sure you really got to go do the dance and, and do other stuff. <laughs> so, go do what you got to do. Thank you so much, and um, yeah, have a great night. Get some good sleep if I don't talk to you. But yeah, what a night, huh? <laughs> um, so, let's see. Uh, that's been cleared. Allie's $20 has been cleared. I get a heart from Jeff. <laughs> Satan from Tree. Nice. Um, awesome. And the anonymous $50 came in as well. Um, I think there was a $50 reward. Oh, it's yeah, six months sub to your channel. Um, so I don't know who the anonymous... $50 was, but if you're a streamer that's affiliated or partnered, um, I will sub to your channel for six months if you want to just hit me up on the side or, or whatever. I'm assuming um, you didn't want to get any recognition of that sort, and we could definitely handle it offline. Um, uh, or not, and that's fine too. Uh, but just letting you know that you are definitely uh, able to get that. She has to shower after that fight. Hell <laughs> yeah! Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um okay. So as mentioned, uh we are now up to six hundred and seventy six dollars, twenty four dollars to the T away. I'm hitting the $700 merch giveaway, which I do want to fix that right now. Um, shit, do I have to fix that in the actual overlay? I think I do. I do, son of a bitch. Yeah, let's put it to the end. Okay, and save changes, that should update that. Hello. Oh shit, I'm getting a fucking call from work again. Uh, more Oberdin in a minute, just let me handle this. I'll be right back, enjoy the clips. Wait for the, yep, okay, cool, we go in here. So we did LG, which is lower ground space. We've done the ground. Why don't we try one? Yeah, I need to find a compass and scrying mirror, I know. Let's go to one. Oh, shit! Are you fucking serious? Daddy ant. Oh my goodness gracious. Is that a fucking rocket launcher? My dude. Oh, hi there. Where are you going? Fucking bitch, I knew something was gonna happen. I fucking knew it. Oh. 
Lisa Taylor. Lisa Taylor. Lisa Taylor. Oh! Go! Okay. No! <laughs> Oh, did you get it? I turned the light on. Yeah, someone's dead. Oh my god, no! <sighs> Hit the wrong button. I'm. Oh! Okay. We're back at it. Sorry about that, everybody. Things are good. Refresh. Fixed it. Okay. Cool. Small little things, small victories is what I strive for in life. Okay. Cool. This week is not my on-call week. Well, I'm glad it's not. Um, yeah, I, I was on vacation for a week and a half, came back, worked, to, worked two days, now I'm on call for the next week. Um, but then after after my on call ends next Thursday at noon, I'm a week and a day away from another week vacation. I'm actually going to uh, New Orleans uh, for uh, Monday through Friday excursion. I'm very excited. I've been wanting to visit uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, um, for on it for years. I've always wanted to go and check it out. Um, so I'm happy I finally get to do that. Uh, okay. I'm ready for more Oberdin, so uh, thank you all for this crazy last like 20 minutes or so. It's been pretty nuts, but uh, let's go. Yo, Jacob Jag, what's up? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Ugh. Uh, do you happen to be a straggler from the raid, or did you, ha did you find us through like a recommendation somewhere? Just out of curiosity. All right, so we gotta figure out this dude's upstairs. I'm doing well. I'm a big fan of Oberdin. Nice. Yeah, I'm. I gotta say, I'm pretty a big, big fan of this too. It's my first time playing it, um, and it's been very fun so far. I look it up every time I get on Twitch. Ah, good to know. I'm guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasqua. Oh, he has done nothing wrong. Miss Lim, it is too late. Quiet, come to the ship. I mean, I sent you to death by firing line, Mr. Wolf, when you were ready. Oh, Mr. Wolf shot him. Well, he said, right, sir, ready men aim fire. So who actually made the killing shot? I remember this now. I remember being confused about this. I didn't know if I should try to determine which exact person shot him. You have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. He didn't kill Nunzio. And then someone is Miss Lim. ...by the authority of the East India Company and thus the Crown of England. I say until this game was made by one man, the same guy who made Papers, Please, which is also amazing. I've heard a little bit about Papers, Please. I'm going to have to try it out. Right, sir. Right, sir. So let's see. There's one, two, three, four. Four people shot him. Can I list all four people or do I list out um, Mr. Wolf here? Like, I don't know. Or do I do I say, hey, it's it's actually the captain that ordered it because that's the captain. Interesting. Please do this a lot of fun. Absolutely. Alright, this is... I don't know who that is. I remember hearing the... Where's the woman's voice? Oh, is that the... It's gotta be the artist. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, this is her right here. This is Lim. Ms. Lim. Oh, boy, 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 boy. All right, so where is, right here. Yeah, Bun Lao Lim. Okay, we, we do have that. All right, so she already is set up, that's good. 
You have a few options of who did it. Yeah, it's really obnoxious at the moment. <laughs> because I'm trying to determine who, like... I guess I could take a look one gun at a time. He definitely hit him. He... Missed him, kinda, I guess. Uh, this dude... Oh, I think he missed, and you... Oh, you also kind of missed. This is the only person that shot, and there's a marking of blood right there. So this dude did it. Oh, that guy. I think we know who that is. Who is that there is an achievement of choosing the captain for all deaths because, in a sense, he's responsible for all deaths? That is true. Yes, that's right. Uh, Witterall, he's one of the two brothers of the captain, Witterall. There's, where's the other Witterall? I thought there was one more Witterall outside of him. Maybe I'm making that up, because I know that the, yeah, Hoskett is his uh, brother-in-law. I know that. Cynthia, welcome back. How was your jog? Hope you're doing well. So this was, yeah. This guy is Axel. Okay, let's jump to the bitch here. Where's X? Uh, so I'm looking for another Witterall. Where is he? That's Abigail. That's so. This Abigail Hoskett Witterall. She's the the wife. I don't want that. Where is other witch roll? Where's a am I making this up? Like a son in my hoodie? Damn. Wait, there are two brothers. I never knew that about this game. Well, so there's Robert Witterall, who's the captain, and then there's the um the other Witterall. I mean Ab so Abigail Hoskett Witterall. So she's She's married to Robert Winterall, the captain. William Hoskett is the first mate. You notice Hoskett is her middle name. It's it's supposed to be her maiden name. It used to be Abigail Hoskett. Um, so that is her brother. So therefore, Robert and William, captain first mate, are brother-in-laws. Um, but I can't find... Other Witter his last name is Witterall, right? I'm not I'm not making this up. Fuck, I think I'm making something up. Not joking, that guy that shot him was one of the last people that I found and I felt so dumb after figuring it out. Uh, hey, that, that happens though, you know? This unknown soul. Wait. Oh, I never got his name. He was axed by our witch roll. I'm an idiot. Okay, so we haven't determined who this guy is yet. We can get him though. He's only got a one. He's got one dime. Uh, uh, a rating of one, so it's not too bad. He was axed by the captain. Uh, location of the corpse. Oh, he was in the back in the captain's quarters. Okay, let's go to the captain's quarters. Oh wait, I have to leave here first. Shit. There's the door. Burger. Yeah, Cynthia, um, you missed. Ali G rated us, and a bunch of donations came in. We're now up to $676 so far jug for the Jugtober charity month. Um, and we did a, uh, a Steam game giveaway, which Ali won uh, with King of the Pet, and uh, she chose Killer Frequency for her free game. Um, and yeah, Jacob, just to give you a heads up, we, uh, not that... You know, I'm obviously not trying to get people to just throw money at this, but um, if you're able to give, um, 
please consider giving. It's for Hope for the Day, which is uh, raises money for um, nonprofit Hope for the Day. Uh, and they give services of mental health uh, and suicide prevention and awareness. So um, we actually just surpassed tonight 4,000 total dollars actually um, raised over the course of... This is our third Jugtober now. Um, so it's it's legit. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing to see. It's very humbling to see. Uh what everyone here has been able to do. Um, but even if you can't give, that's okay too. You're here and you're hanging out with us. And uh, share the word. <laughs> They're right. The bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Ah! ah. Yes, yeah, so this is the captain. And this is the dude here that we're trying to determine who that is. When that dude comes flying down to try to help. Yeah, I don't think there's much to do here. I, to, I think I have to look at other memories to figure out who he is. It's really good. I can't keep them making enough money. Oh, of course, of course. Totally get you. It's it's a it's a rough time to to fucking live right now, to be honest. So I get you. Okay. So let's see. Where else? Uh. Book market. Show memories on deck map. All right. So that's where he died. Ding a ding dang my dang a long ling long. <laughs> what is up, disconnected? How are you, sir? All right, so he made the kill there. Soldiers of the Sea, Part One, Part Two. So did he? I want to see anything here. Mainsail hauled up, secure the brace and load the tops. Work fast when he's alive. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's if names get mentioned. Towards the C part two. Eve Ron, what is it? Blade Devil, another one over there. Oops. Why can I not go back? What are we doing here? Okay. Uh so that takes care of that, except for these as the escape portion. Escape part two. Sleepy but could not resist stopping by. Well happy to have you, man. Hope you do. I hope you're feeling a little bit better. Last one, move quick, or you'll not take the last boat. Paul, look out. Stop. Let them go. No, damn. Okay, so. Who is Paul? Do we happen to have Paul marked anywhere? That's Henry Evans. Uh, nope. Don't think we have a name for Paul. So Paul is going to be helping for who Paul is from this one. And this is... Uh, oh, up, that's up the stairs. Okay. I think it's this one right here. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last boss. Oh, look out. She says no. I think that guy's Paul. Cause she's she's here. There's only two people up here, and he came in with the sword. This dude 
looks like he well he pulled one out but so i think this is paul this dude here mr mm, looking man yeah him i think this is paul but we gotta figure out how many pauls are on board here if there's all right so paul moss is first mate steward from wales any more Pauls? No. Okay. So I think it's Paul Moss. I'll look for actually Paul last name as well. Not that it's going to necessarily happen, but you never know if someone's trying to pull a quick one on me. Okay. Yeah, Paul Moss. That's who it is. Who he was killed by, I have no idea. I mean, I, I have an idea. It's, it's this dude here, but I'm not too sure who that is at this point. Uh, but we got to determine where the hell our buddy was. Is this him right here? Yep, that's him. He came running in late. Um, where's my exit door? Oh, there it is. Okay. Good, 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 good. See, progress. We're getting there. And then this was the second one, I believe. Yeah, it's the very next one. He's also here for that. Let them go. That's all it says. Okay, so that's not super helpful. Um, back here. So we've done those two. We've done this one. Uh, did those two, this... Okay. Let's follow along this trail here. Enough. Captain Grumpy trusted you have a plan. You have to take ship and sail east. Trade wretched fish shells for gold. Oh, who's there? Meet me, fresh bastard. No. Oh, uh, fuck. I have to keep hitting deck map each time. Oh, well. That's fine. Uh, then this one. What's all this, you damn fool? Alright, so that's not helpful. <laughs> and then it finishes up here. Ugh, no, you're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I, I tried my best to pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself, Brennan. Bring the surgeons. Oh, Brennan, bring the surgeons kit. Okay, so. Oh, poop, I'm so late. Oh, hell yeah. No, you're never late. You're on time. What's up, Heavy? How you doing, dude? Alright, so I kind of, I'm, in, I'm intrigued by this one. Because it sounds like we get told that someone's name is Brennan. Cheers. <laughs> uh, let me see. We need to go to the gun deck down into the midshipman. Okay, so down one right side. Okay. Okay. Should be here. I believe it's this dude. Nothing else here. Yeah, this is it. Okay, good. Okay, this is the last part of the chapter nine escape. Oh no, you're cut. Don't leave me. Och. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Why does it say och? Tell Pete's mother I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. You tell her yourself. Bring the sergeant's kit. All right. There's no one else really here except for 
like right here, but could that be Brennan? Or is that Brennan? Look, he's listening out. I don't know who that is yet. I don't think. Accent, yep. So, do we have a Brennan on board? Oh, shit. Looking at both names. Brennan, 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 Brennan. Uh, Brennan. Brennan, 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 Brennan. Brennan. I don't see a fucking Brennan anywhere. Is this a nickname that someone used? Shit. And then what he he called him something else. Or he made reference to him. Oh, for the love of Pete. Och. O C H. I don't think that's a name. Um number fifty six. I read right over it. I did, Henry Brennan. Okay. So, Henry Brennan. So, he's calling out to a Henry Brennan to go get that. So, that's interesting. I, I can't say for certain if it's this guy coming down and looking or this guy with his hand up. Looks like he's trying to listen. I think... I think we could say this is Henry Brennan. Because Henry Brennan is just a seaman. You know? Um, the other thing about it, too, is back here, who else was here? The gunman here. So there's that guy, who we think is Henry Brennan. I don't know who, all right, and there's, yeah. All right, I don't know their names yet. I don't know if they could class them as semen or not. Eh. Hmm. You know what? I think I want to go for it. I think I want to call this guy. I want to call him Brennan. So number 56, we called him. Henry Brennan. This may or may not be correct. Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> it doesn't actually validate it. It's just saying like, hey, this, it may be. <laughs> so we have his potential name axed by the captain. So he's good to go, um, which means our passengers. <sighs> Henry Brennan. That's only two things we finished. We need to finish one more. And then we'll be able to confirm it. Oh, wait. But I think we have confirmed. But well, we have put three of them in. So something's wrong somewhere. That's okay. Um, let's move these bookmarks for now. Let's see if I have a, a one on anything. One. Okay, you. You met an unknown fate. I have it. Hold on. In the middle of it. All right. Whoops. Yeah, I have. I have every single memory because it started raining, and the guy's like, "Hey, we have to get. We have to go soon." Okay, um... Uh... 
Alright, just to the left of the center piece there. I think it's this right here. No. No. Oh. It's right here. This is weird. I thought it was near this circle thing. Huh. Now I lost who the hell I was looking for. Well, I know who it is, but... All right, here. Whoever her body, she's one of the three. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. All right, she's right there. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. I don't remember this. Oh, yeah, I do. He opened this thing and all the fucking, like, weird mer people started waking up. Okay, I recall this now. He opened that up. That dude. And there she is right there. She was already dead at this point, so I she would have been smarter if I did this first. And then said, okay, where did you perish? Part four. But there's something something else that happened as well. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, and then here as well. Never below that though. Okay. So, start here. You course to east will reach the Canaries in three days. You packed up stores. I guess check London himself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. Wind picks up. We've no chance against the Oberdin. Miss Slimmy, you are right. Yes, I'm okay. But the chest, it must not fall into the ocean. If the monsters come, you must stay down. I shut up. They say strange things about monsters. Okay. Whoops. That's that part. And then this part, Mother God, keep wrong there, here, bang, the chest, where is it, there, something there, I see it, give us a weapon, Miss Lim, stay down, keep up the oars and row, you fools. Oh, hey, can you still breathe in? can you row? Help, Nickel, sir, shoot them for God's sake, okay, why don't we... that first. We'll, we'll back it up one spot here. Start from scratch. Part six. Part five. Part four. Where's part one? Oh, is it really out in the fucking ocean? Okay, it is. Um... How do I get there? <laughs> Accessible only through another corpse. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Accessible only through, yeah, exactly, yeah. So, I guess I'll try this, well, this is part six. And that's Edward Nichols. There's this dude who's with her. But that's part five. There's part four. No. This is probably all the, uh, the Kraken killings.
Oh, this is escape. It's not right. Which story was this? This is the calling. Okay. Shit. Hmm. Okay. So I guess I need to move forward and get the other ones then. Oh no, wait. I think I can select them from here. Yeah, no, I, I remember what to do, I remember what to do. Okay. It took a second. I just realized it actually happened while I was in there. And I was like, why is that popping up right now? Let's see? This is part three. This is, oh, this is part one. So go here first. Perfect, okay. Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! Making guessing yeah, isn't against the rules. Yeah, exactly. I shut it off. This is strange news. Above monsters. All right, so this is our first dude here. We don't know exactly who that is yet, but he has been killed by... by some tiggle biddies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... By a foreign enemy. Oh, I already had that. Okay, so we've already done that much for him, so that's fine. You're good. You didn't get hit by that. But you're still, she's still alive at this point. So that's not a big deal. Yeah, that's Nichols. Chest can't fall into the water. All right, so how do I get to part two here? I think I have to leave and come back in. Yeah, I think I have to leave and come back through. <coughs> Which is fine. So it's the same thing. <laughs> All right, we back up one more spot. That's part four. Okay. This is part one. Are you part two? No. And somehow you're not part two. You're part three. Oh. Right here. Yep. Feeds people with the dopamine that I can get from seeing the three feeds solved is making me stay. <laughs> nice. Keep rowing! Bang the chest. So bang. Oh, this dude's getting yanked overboard. Holy shit. Why is he tied up? He's got to be bang. Because in the next spot, he's over trying to get the chest. So... I'm going to say...
Eat bang see ya. I don't see any other I don't think I'm gonna see any other bangs in here. Yeah. That's definitely him because she said bang also a passenger. Hermosa. Yeah, definitely him. Okay. Interesting. But then still, why is so she's still alive at this point? And then in the very next one, she's fucking dead. Hmm. Okay, so how the hell... doesn't really show like what happened to her she's just all of a sudden dead look, look she's got blood on her I'll go to the next part and see what happens and see if it gives me a bit more information about it So she is part four. This is part five. Yep, this is it bang. See ya, uh, yep. Kind of assume with her. Merman being nearby and all. I mean, I guess, but... It just, it de you definitely don't hear anything. Like, at least with that, I see, like... Oh, you know what it was? This... Whatever was in here, it, like, shot those things out into the sky and they came down. So maybe that's what... Got her. Oh, jeez. I'm assuming that's what happened. And same with him, because he's, like, burning over there. So... What do we call this? Not, it's not necessarily burned or eaten, expired. Like, I don't really know what, you, what you'd call that. Huh. Also, we'll send her alive. Oh, you say where they are. Okay, interesting. Is it electrocuted? I guess we don't know what to call it. Like, it kind of looks like a fire? But the way that it popped out, like, I didn't go back and look, actually. See, like... He opened this thing up. What is that? It's it's like Eldridge blasted. <laughs> I don't really know what to say there. But she got the same fate, I would say. Live, axed, burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed, kept it, drowned, eaten, electrocuted. Expired, exploded, fell, froze, illness, killed by sword, knife, poison, shot, spirited. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna say burned, but. 
Maybe electrocuted makes more sense here. Because the, mer the merman is not like happy. And water, electricity, no good. Oh. Three more fates would we get right. Hit bang C is correct. Oh, yep. Yeah. That was Renfred Rajub. And Henry Brennan, that was his name. Nice. Okay. Interesting. It's interesting that we got his figured out. It's electrocuted. Well, I guess it's because we don't have we don't have more than that. But okay, that's good to know. Got a good chunk done. All right, we're gonna get to part six now. Figure out who the fuck killed uh, what's his name here. Making good progress here. I just wish I could solve this shit faster. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not doing too bad. Okay, so this is gonna be part six, I think. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, he got shot anyways from... A passenger? No, I have treasure. Bap. Oh, wasn't that dude? Can't hold it anymore. Go pee. <laughs> Damn. Who is this? He also got spiked. Promotion royalty. Oh, so he's one of the guards. Oh, we don't know who the other three are. He can only be the other for uh Formosan. It has to be Chow Tan. Unless, of course, I got those names wrong. No, be wait, no, because that's Miss Lim. We know who she is. This has to be Chow Tan. Which also means... You... Hello? He was shot. By Chow Tan. Yeah. That's what it has to be. Okay. All right. We're making good progress here. How are we looking? All right, so those haven't really updated yet, but that's okay. We'll get more information on them later. So now let's go to another spot. Unholy captives. Yeah, that's that's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where are these monsters? Be from? We saw everything. So your fault. This shell must be protected. We will all die. Talk about a shell. Very dangerous shell. What shell?
Alright, so this is a one look into Brennan's death. You have to do that. Um, I'm just looking for names here. Also in John. Jesus. Alright, yeah, let's go look. We'll go look at Brennan then. Which I believe he died at the end. Oh yeah, we already got this one confirmed. This got confirmed earlier. So there's not much I can really do with Brennan's death now. I'm gonna remove her bookmarks. I don't need them. And let's go to... Yeah, let's go here. This is in the back by the stairs. Okay. Oh, in the cargo hold. Okay. It's like you wouldn't be able to edit it. But it it popped up in the thing, though. It said that it was one of the three I got right. It's like... Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. fuck's sakes so if I go to here right so see how it doesn't have a piece of it's like it's not a piece of paper anymore oh maybe it was a piece of paper now oh okay never mind yeah I fucked something up then Yeah, so there's something definitely fucked up here. Okay. Alright, we'll go back to his then. Well, he's part two. Uh, part one is the first made outside. So why don't we start here? Different type of death. Oh, god damn it. Get, Open the door. Get out of the fucking way. Unless we break it down and take Unless we break it down. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. So he's got a that looks like a knife to me. And I had, he was killed with an axe? What am I, dumb? Knifed. <laughs> God damn it. There it is. Thank you, tree. Yeah, we confirmed Edward Nichols and Chow Tan. Nice. This one of the first ones you did, yep. And I just decided to put axe there for some reason. <laughs> no idea why. Okay. Um, let's start from the back and work our way this way. And we're going to look for anything that has a one triangle on it. You, Paul Moss, first mate steward, was killed with a sword by an unknown attacker. Oh, yeah, right. We're going to figure out who this dude is. That was part two. All right, and then this was down in the gun deck, right beneath me. Okay. The bottom of the sea. The bottom of the sea. Bing bong, bing bong, bong. This dude here. Okay. Put me down. Let's go. Easy now. You're in a bad way. This is good. 
Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The, that, the beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that. Does that bit for nothing? <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so we've got this Jabron, who we don't know who he is yet. This guy, don't know who he is yet. And I think this guy got fucking dismembered by the squid. <laughs> That's the captain going upstairs, yep. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Frenchman was also in the dialogue. He, but this guy was asking where his Frenchman is. And the Frenchman got torn apart. So... Oh, yeah, right. So it could be this guy, potentially. Um, brushed by a loose cannon. We don't know how that person died or how they died. They died. The artist. I don't know if the artist was... Uh, French. Lars Linda? Unknown attacker. Interesting. Yeah, I know it does the country of origin. I'm just curious how many French people are here. Um, we've got Charles Minor, who's the bosun's mate. Oh, where's my French bosun, bosun's mate? And it did sound a little German there. Alfred Klestel may be our guy who's missing an arm. Any other French people here, though? No. What a quick hint that really helped me out with this part. Um, I think I may have figured it out. Well, I figured out who the, this is Alfred Klestel. This dude here. And then, even unknown fate, um... Seven, nine. Seems like you got it. Yeah, thank you. So the I just I'm gonna figure out the who's the the Frenchman though. That's the problem. I mean, well, I guess it's not a problem. I just don't know. Um, oops. All right, where's my door? Oh, hey. There it is. All right. Oh. Oh. I can't click off of that, so that's correct. Huh. Well then. Bookmark the memories. First memory. He was there as part of the, uh, deck. That's not, oops, not super helpful. It's 
part one of Unholy Captives. Let's do that first. Maybe it'll help me. I'll give you a very general hint. This will not help with finding out the Frenchman, probably. Um, I'm not so much worried about the Frenchman. I just want to, like, oh, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I just gotta keep it to, like, find any, like, one, like this. It's got the one triangle, so it's, it's, I have a better chance of figuring it out. Um, so I should probably stick with that. This guy is at the very bottom in the back. Probably very similar to my hint, to be honest. What would I just said? Is that a yes or a no? I don't I don't understand the question. I'm just I'm just trying to I I wanna figure out like the low hanging fruit stuff first. Am I on the other fucking side? I am. I'm a dumbass. A very general hint. Oh no no, I think I'm good at the moment. Yeah. Stairs. Oh, right. I forgot. The flies. This dude got fucking eaten or something. <laughs> it's a no. Let's figure out himself most of the time. Most of the time. I'll let you know. What madness is this? 20 years my steward had never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or doom us all! Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. It sounds like this. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. All's fine, John. Okay. 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 So this dude's name is John. No, did no. His name is John. John Davies is a fourth mate. John, 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 John. It's also John Naples, though, who's a seaman. Shit. What if it's a dumb assumption that isn't clear? Um, well, I mean, I'll get around to it. So... Okay. Hmm. This dude is the surgeon, Henry Evans, yep. This dude got strangled by a beast. I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh... It's the captain. Oh, this dude is getting tossed in the lazarette. Interesting. Well, speaking of this game, I think we like watching other solid but it's easy to help connect the dots when you know the whole picture. That's, that's very true. Oh, there's that. That's where he came in. There's Alfred. Interesting. Okay, so I don't... This dude doesn't look like... Sorry. Okay, I want to be him. Where is... So if we're thinking about the... Well, that's not a Frenchman. That's Dutch. Hmm. Very good about asking for help if you stumped somewhere. True. Very true. Like, does he die here? 
I'm assuming he did because I mean he's probably bleeding out. I don't know. Let me uh let's start with the easy part and let's fucking bookmark his shit. I'd looked up and this one made things more clear to me. I think that certain assumptions make things harder. Oh yeah, I, I, I get that. All right, that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the top and I'm gonna hit that. Is I definitely hit the, the part of this a little too early, I think. I should have started from the top. Yeah, no, I totally get that. Up, up, but up, up, but up, but up, 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 not you, but up, up, and the hell. Oh, just to my right. Okay. Why does it keep doing that? Oh. It's behind me. Ah, I had that stupid fucking map up. That's why. I'm like, I know that's not him. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So this is the beginning. I'm excited you finally playing this. Hell yeah. yeah I've been enjoying it. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This is me. Shell? What shell? Is, is that the shell that broke? What happened? <laughs> I don't remember this part. Ooh, just missed him. Yeah, he got nailed by it. Oh, he spiked, okay. Know who this is? No. He was electrocuted. <laughs> Alright, it's the captain. Remember who alright, so the whole point was to find this dude. You over here working? That's not him. This might be him. No. Oh. Where am I there? Where the fuck is he? Oh, is he? No, it's not him. him that's the surgeon or doctor wow oh it's this dude he's right here <laughs> there he is okay so we'll go with this one there's the door there it is all right so he's fine here you just happen to see that shit happen So the next one, we're gonna go down flight of stairs in front of me, and it's right in the middle. Okay. Let's 
dude right here, I bet. Part two, yes. Oops. The deck move the boat to stern and throw the bodies over. Watch for hey there, what's this? Give him to me and I rice salad meal boys. Careful, I'll take it slow. One took gentleman, there's a piece shell here. Let's have a look. No, get back. Oh. So this dude hit it. <laughs> Fuck. So this guy was uh was speared by I guess you'd call it a beast. A terrible beast, yeah. Again, oh here's our boy right here. So he was carrying and this dude got nailed instead. Okay. Now, the next part is at the bottom of the stairs in front of me, right here. Firming part three, it is, yep. We got it, we're getting it, we're getting it. I'm not gonna press anything this time. Aha! Uh -huh. That sucks. <laughs> My dude here got fucking wrecked. Crushed by falling cargo. Yeah, we already had that. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. And our dude is... He's up there at the top? Yep. So he tripped and fell and... Yeah. No good. Okay. So a lot of this stuff we've already have written down, which is fu which is fine. And then it goes, and all of a sudden... Dude's at the bottom on the other side. What happened between him, like, being part of the, of gravity killing the other dude, coming over here, coming downstairs, and having a fucking leg taken off. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. What madness is this? Yeah, so who so they're dragging this dude away. Who is this? else has he been? He was here for Holy Captives Part 2. When it, at both times it basically spit out when I was the calling Part 6. Oh, interesting. So he actually survived. He, no, he didn't survive. He was there and saw it happen. Uh, when what's his name got shot as they came back. And then he was... Coming down there. Yeah, there is a missing chapter, but this is all the same chapter. This is just, this is Unholy Captives. The part three, Unholy Captives. Part four, Unholy Captives. It completely jumps. I'm not too sure if I can, if I have anything here that's going to be helpful. Let's, let's check out this dude. Speared by a terrible beast. He was also involved in Holy Captives. And A Bitter Cold, Part 1. I have to go all the way up. Hmm. 
There's just so many moving parts. It just sucks when, like, I have something that says, like, all right, this is an easier step to handle. And I'm like, all right, cool. And then it's not. That's not it. That's not it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. I technically was at the right dude there for a second. I think it is this guy. Yeah, alright. So let's start at step one. Lady Shoes! Thank you so much for the lurk. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Main sail up, secure the braces, load the top sail. Oh yeah, this part. Oh, that's him. That's the dude that we would create. No, it isn't. Different dude. Best music, yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, this is him. He was electrocuted. We don't know what his name was or anything. And eventually he falls. Oh, is that our dude right there? No? Yes, he's here. Not him. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Can't look at this dude apparently. Oh, there we go. No, not him. Not, it's not that dude, I know that. Was he down there somewhere? He must have been down on the ground somewhere. Just heaving and hoeing. Okay, so it's really not re relevant. Oh no, it's this dude here. That's right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to this guy's chapter. Maybe tell me a bit more information. Oh, that was him. See the lantern falling and where he was? Yep, he got nailed by one of the fucking. Um, one of the spiders. Fuck that nonsense. Oh, uh, this dude, this is him falling after being electrocuted. He's about to hit. <laughs> that sucks. All right. So Winston, and that's the last time he shows up. This might be another part. There is. Okay. Let's go to the bitter cold. Maybe it'll tell us something here. Down in the Orlop deck. Gun deck. Roll up deck. It's one of these dudes here. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's him. Okay, yeah, we already, and we've, we've seen this once already today, but I want to see where this dude is before. Did they mention his name at all? <laughs> Those are the Russians. Here's the, and then, there's the Indians. Uh huh. Okay. Here's your Russians. Not him. Not him. Not him. But those are the Russians. So the question is where is this dude? There's his lantern. Maybe. It says he was here. Probably because he was just sleeping in here somewhere. If only you could like see their faces in here or something. Each chapter's named the way it is. I mean, I believe so if I look at it. So this was. Oh, I'm just getting lost in my own thoughts, trying to like string shit together. Um. I think I need to just fucking remove the bookmarks and let's fucking start from the beginning and find things that are one triangle, move from there. But not that. Here's the bitter cold, which we've completed. So the bitter cold's actually all set, which is great. The murder. Doug needs a notebook. <laughs> you feel like Charlie from Always Sunny on the conspiracy board? Yes. That's all set. This dude we can't figure out anyways. And that's going to do it for the murder. Then we go to the calling. Three, two, three. Well, yeah, I don't know what the fuck's up with here. I think it's just because we haven't got another enough to clear everything else out. But this is good. That's good. Holy captives. Back to this guy again. Let's skip over him. Soldier of the Sea. This guy again. Let's skip over him. Two and three. One. Okay. This unknown soul burned to death on the Soldiers of the Sea. Part five. It's, uh, it's four memories. Let's bookmark them. And let's take a look at what they are. So let's see part four and then part five. Bitter cold part three. Holy cap is part two, who's involved with that. And that's really it. I need to go downstairs one more time. I have to also get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Okay. Go to my right. Ah, uh, yes. They lit this fucking spider on fire, and that dude was right there. So I think I need to go one shy to that. Yeah, this dude is fucked. Yeah, I gotta go back one spot. Where's the, here's the door? So if I go back one 
spot in that timeline to part four. I know that I'm not going to go for these guys, but he was here. If I do this, it's part four. And that is in the center on the left side. Right here. Uh, one of them. Oh yeah, it's both of them. It doesn't really fucking matter now, does it? Maybe they'll mention. Uh, they were getting fucked up, that's right. Oh, that's him. So he threw the lantern at the thing and caught it on fire initially. And I think this dude was, you know, someone was saying burn it quick. Question is who? Maybe this who was saying it? Yeah, I had to get... I had to keep going backwards to figure out what else he has done. Because someone may use his name or describe him somewhere. This one is... Alright, let's go upstairs to the middle again. Okay. Memento, the game, too for fucking real. What you're putting? Hey there, what's this? Give it to me and I can prize a solid meal, boys. Never <laughs> know. Take it slow. One sick, gentlemen. There's a free shelly, eh? Let's have a look. No, get back. Yeah, this is the dude that died here. And I I feel like this guy has to be is there a fucking It might be the butcher. He did say he did sound Irish. Second mate steward wouldn't be looking for that. Random seaman. Eh. Anyways, let's let's keep on track. Where's our dude that we were looking at? Mr. Lantern Holder? Nope. That's not him. Oh, that's not him. That's him. This guy's pointing. Yeah, this guy said, let's have a look here. So... I think this dude here, this may be, may be helpful. I think he's the butcher, because he talked about frying this thing up. I'm going to say that this is the... Could be a cook, though. No, it couldn't be, because the cook is English. This guy sounded like he had an Irish accent. That's what I'm going with. Otherwise, not much else here that's helpful. I'll have to go back another... Uh, part here, another bookmark. And it's the bitter cold entry. We're gonna go down one more to the left. Oh, it's this thing. Yep. Her here. 
One swing. Get true to skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. So the butcher's definitely here giving instructions. You all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, Charlie. Charlie. Find your shoes now. Found him. He is a Charles. Oh my God. He might be the Frenchman, Charles Minor. We'll look for other, we'll look for other Charles. Charlie, anything of that sort. Oh, no, no, a midshipman though? Are we in the area where there'd be a midshipman? I don't think that guy would be down here. Because he is the bosun's mate. That, I don't think that's, maybe it's not the Frenchman. Uh, a good way to think about it is this is the starboard walk. Midshipman hang up one more spot above. Wasn't there a um isn't there a piece in the book that explains who does what? Tradesman. Usually have privileged status. Okay. I think I think that's it. I think he's the midshipman. Charles Hirschdick. That's the fucking butcher. God damn it. The other guy might be the cook. And then I think these are also midshipmen as well. We don't have to worry about those guys right now. Okay. But I think we did that one right. That man has a monkey. Okay. Move the bookmarks for that dude. Let's get past that one. Let's get past that one. Who said that was okay? We're thinking that's the butcher. Loved by an unknown attacker. Hmm, okay. Let's check this dude out. Very top, okay. I think it's this dude here. No, one more over. Oh, Z, what's up, dude? That's the first keyboard cat of the night. I think it's a new record. Like two and a half hours, probably more. How you doing, man? 
led me on. <laughs> Over my dead body, you bloody dame. Huh? How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Huh? Thought I'd forget. You killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Sure so no, don't. So. That's the Dane dying, but then who's this? Oh, this dude. Crushed by the cargo. Okay. We gotta find brothers on that fucking list. Fuck, no, 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 no. Underneath all that shit. Okay. Do do do. Don Moss, Gallagher, Anderson, James Miller, Lanka, Hirschstick, Gold. Whitman, Lee, Zang, Hong, Lee, Butterill, Mabba, Walker, Volker, Nick, Hirschstick, Peters, Linda. Uh, Naples, Roger, Back, Bar, Washington, Sia, Dion, Brandon, Booth, O'Hagan, Shirley, and Peters. Keyboard cat first. Let's go. <laughs> What's. Hell yeah, brother. Um, so does he actually mean brother? I would assume so. Huh. There's just so many last names that I, I need to... So I make a realization if there's... Oh, Peters. Nathan Peters. Samuel Peters. They're both seamen and they're from England. Okay. Question is, which one's which? Samuel and Nathan. How is this game, my dude? Looks interesting. This is a good one. It's, it's like a big mystery detective work. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I go here. Um, no one's making any no uh, noises there. Uh, go to that page. Fuck's sakes. This dude here. It's time we bookmark you, sir. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter because you're both level threes there. So okay, I'm gonna clear. But we we know that they're they're brothers. They're the P uh, the Peters brothers. So that's that's fine. Um. So, one of the three Peters killed him, so I guess we'll try... Try both, see what happens. Nothing there. There it is! Boom, baby! So that's dead. He got killed by Nathan Peters, which means the other one that got crushed is Samuel. We got Charles Hirschstick, right? And we got the uh, the butcher right. Cool, 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 cool. Making further steps. Still got a long way to go though. Okay. Loose cargo. This dude is Samuel Peters. The dopamine feels great. <laughs> yes. So we know for a fact this one is good. He was crushed by fallen cargo, we know that. He has to, he's the only other brother possible, so there's one. <laughs> Alright, so... How much further on can we get here? Past this, go out to the doom, okay, boom. Done. Boom, that's already been done. Three... Oh, I can get this dude.
Let's bookmark the memories. And let's show him on the deck map. So he was at the, the firing squad. He also dealt with... he. Oh, he died in the doom. He was also there for Soldiers of the Sea. Both parts of it. So that's good to know. Never went to the bottom, though. Alright. Let's start with the basic shit here. Let's go down one flight and go near the, uh... Near the bosun from there. But yeah, he is easy. No ice. I went too far. Whoops. One more step over it right here. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, man. There must be a second body here. Too. Oh, is it right there? Oh, that's the one before. So it's this one. And then there's another one somewhere. There's those two bodies here. Oh, well. Whatever. Carry on. This is the Doom. So this is where we had the big, scary fucking Kraken motherfucker. Is that fuse? That's that guy. That yeah, dude. Yeah, we know who that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who the fuck is that? Where'd the body go that was just here? Oh. That's our boy. <laughs> uh, he got shot by a fucking cannon. Um, I wouldn't say exploded. Shot. Cannon. Uh, is there an unknown? Oh, the unknown attacker's the, uh, it's gonna be the beast. But who is he is the question. He looks important. Because he has the top hat. <laughs> Cheers again. Just you too, buddy. Alright, so now we got some bit more information here. So to the right. He was he was here for this. So maybe someone mentions his name. He's calling the shots. He lost his hat. Oh, yeah, he got held up against the fucking cannon. Oh, no. And that's how this guy behind him died, too, because he <laughs> he both got blown apart. A big hint. So he's calling the shots. So that's interesting. Uh, Austria. He could be Christian Wolf. I don't know what a purser is, but he didn't sound Scot Scottish. Definitely not English. Stewards, stewards, midshipmen, topmen. Yeah, no, 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 no. This dude was the gunner. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, now who else can we go to that only has one triangle? That's the empty chapter.
Uh, we still haven't figured out who the fuck killed Paul Moss. Shit. I think it's this dude. Okay, moving forward. I know he's a three, but... There for that. Oh, we had me already. No blaze spark. Okay, he was there for that too. Hmm. He could be a gunner. I'm not a gunner. They uh. That's so helpful. Okay, then you. Nothing. Here we are. Shit. So I don't think anyone's mentioning this dude's name at any point that I can tell. Unless it happens later on when he dies. Yeah, that is him. Okay, I did pick the right guy. And then he got shot immediately afterwards. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go back up to the top and we'll take a look just to get a bit more details figured out for him. Even though I'm not going to be able to figure it out now because he's a, uh, a three rating. But this is him right here. Why his brain can't follow this? Eh. Jug's brain's doing what it can. Let them go! Now she gets shot by. We don't know who that is yet? Fuck. Well, she fucked him up good. Where have you come from? Question the Doom Part 8. I'm just trying to follow things and get things done that I can. She's the next singer of Death Before Dishonor. <laughs> Jesus. Put your hands in the fucking air. Oh, it's the next room over. I'm an asshole. Okay. I have to go all the way around, I think. Okay. Excuse you. Yeah. I did. I think this is her right here. Nope. 
No. What the fuck? The doom. Oh, she was okay. She didn't die here, but that is yeah. I have to scan this one. Okay, I confused myself. Friends, family, forever. <laughs> Yeah, and she's dead, but she was talking to a Martin. I think this dude is Martin. We already knew that. Okay, good. But where is this other woman? Oh, she's right here. She was just observing. Not much I can do here. Fuck. Okay, we'll let that one go then. Oh, man, this is getting difficult to figure out. I don't know why we can't figure out who his attacker is. That's so weird. I mean, let's take a look and see. Because she wasn't... She's going to be a passenger. It's gonna be, maybe it might be one of those two. Emily Jackson or Miss Jane Bird. Also meet when you see uh this letter Alaka Lexi Yeah, so she's one of those two for sure. Either Emily Jackson or Miss Jane Bird. It's Hard to tell. I have to go back through and try to find more ones. And I'm assuming these just don't update. They just stay twos. I still don't know why this doesn't work. I mean, I guess she just... Got fucking uh I guess we'll say No. Claude. There mm -hmm. we go. Let's go. Who did I? So we got to we cleared. We didn't even clear her up. So there's Christian Wolf, the gunner. Yep. A good guess on that. Okay. She was clawed by the terrible beast. Okay. And that was Samuel Peters. Yep. Mm -hmm. We knew that. Okay. Good, 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 good. <sighs> Getting there. Slowly but surely. How many ones do I have left now is the question. Three, a three, a two, a three. Three, a two, a two, a one. I don't know anything about that, dude. Three, another one. He's gonna be a midshipman, I think. No, maybe not. Three, two, three. 
Three, three. Three, three, two, two, two. Two, one, three, two, two, three. I think I finished it. Oh, three. Okay. So there's only two ones left. So, but the problem was with Paul is we have to guess who he got attacked by. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Yes. Correct, Knox. <laughs> um, so what I'm going by is see at the top here, uh, Twy, there's like a triangle. Now there's two triangles. And then there should be one that has three. Yeah, this one has three. So, um, that tells you it's the rating of how easy it is to determine who this person is and how they died and by who. One being the easiest, three being the most difficult. So I'm trying to get the lowest hanging fruit done. Um, cause it's all process of elimination essentially. So the problem is I'm trying to figure out who killed Paul Moss. I know exactly who, who it is. It is, um, it's this guy here. What? Hold on. No, that's what I wanted here. So you have one of the Peters is hanging out here. They're playing cards. He's one of the Russians. He's definitely one of the Russians. I don't know which one he is. Bingo. Marcy. Rude. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Um, but if I were to take a guess... Oh, maybe not. He was in the loose cargo? And the Doom? Doom, Soldiers of the Sea, Escape. Oh, Bitter Cold, yep, that's where it is, I think. Yeah, he's playing cards there. I can't tell who he is at that point. So let's... Do I want to fucking mark him? Let's try it. Okay. This is the location. Very bottom. Dead middle of the cargo hold. My work here is done. Do well, I've been lurking forever. Oh, well, thank you for lurking. I appreciate you. Oh, ball. So I'm glad, uh, I'm doing well. What's this game about? This is a mystery about this ship here. The Oberdin went missing and I, it showed up out of nowhere. So I was sent out to figure out exactly what happened. And we've been learning about all these different bodies and how everyone's died. We have all the clues and everything. It's just a matter of putting it all together. And we're doing pretty good so far. What's the achievement I'm at right now? Um. A wall. Why can I not look at the achievements here? What are you doing to me? Oh, that's fucking steam bullshit. I just want to be able to look at the achievements. Everyone, everyone plays it so good. I, I have been, I very much have been enjoying it. Um, I need to go down a couple more flights of stairs. Come on! I think this is the last flight. Yep, yeah, because it's that dude's leg. So it's somewhere here in the middle. Yeah, right here. That's him. I'm going to sleep now. My very general hint isn't really relevant now, so I will say, people tend to do their job in this game. I've noticed that, yeah, the midshipman was, uh, was a good hint for, uh, 
the way I figured that out earlier. Jacob, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. I hope to catch you back real soon. Um, I, I, I don't think I'll be replaying this game because I'm just going to get it perfect the first time. Uh, but hope to see you back soon. Thanks again for the follow and hanging out with us and joining the mob. So uh, take it easy. Have a good night's sleep. All right, so we're going to check out this is the very first chapter. Very first part. <laughs> Or a lot. Wait, wait. No. And we know who that is. He dead. Oh, yep. <laughs> Who's this? Jim? Oh, right. Yeah, yep, yep. Can I get upstairs from here? I don't think I can check everyone else out. But Orlop sounds like an interesting name. I wonder if that's in our manifest. Orlop. Orlap. It's Olus. Olap, 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 Olap. Uh, I don't think so. Damn. <sighs> I was hoping that was going to be helpful. Yeah, I don't know what Olap is. And it doesn't look like I can get upstairs. I'm not close enough to be able to scan them. Uh, I'm able to get him now. Fuck. That sucks. Hmm. I right, fuck it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you don't know about my friend Olef? You gotta talk to him, Olef D's nuts. Fuck you. Post mortem head to the left, all the way to the end. Oh, wrong one. Who's that? Never mind. Okay, so let me over here. Oh no, I was in the right fucking spot. Ah, damn it all. I'm like, that spider's not supposed to be here. Not yet. Oh. Dun -dun. Oh, this is a different angle of it, I guess. I don't know what's different about this one, but here we are. It is literally the same thing. Still can't scan those dudes. Okay, it's not much different here. I was really hoping that I could get real close in this game. Of course, I can't fucking tell my own progress on these fucking goddamn achievements. Oh, it was behind it. 
I see. Okay. Fuck you. Um. Uh, so we've solved 15 fates. And we also solved all fates in chapter one, which isn't hard to do because it's one dude. Solve any 30 fates, solve all fates in chapter X, all fates in chapter 3, solve 45, uh, solve fates in chapter 5, 4, 9, 6, 7, 3 hidden achievements. Okay. So, we're making decent progress. Shit. Next time we see him, I think he's playing cards here. I go upstairs and over across. Going to bed. Have a nice night, Chucky. Tree, thank you so much for your uh, your guidance in this one, my dude. Doesn't look like we're gonna finish this one tonight, but uh, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll let you know when we play it again. I, I may I may take a I gotta take a, a, some time off of it. Get some other games playing. <laughs> Alright, so there's the guy's plan right here. That's him. There. And there. Yep. Those are the three Russians. But. Who do we have from Russia in here again? Hopefully it's three. Three, yep. There's a Totman and then two seamen. Leonid Volkov, Alekis Nikishin, and Alexei Toparov. So let's see what Totman and seamen do. Totman, higher rated seaman specializing in work above the deck in the sails and rigging. Seaman, low level crew member responsible for general manual labor on and below deck. Okay, so... 100% may want to try and finish it in your own time. Once you get some of the more difficult ones, it all falls into place. Remember in the big picture, the people who work and travel together hang out together. Yes, and that's I've got the Russians here. And then there's one of them is a Totman and the other two are seamen. So, it's a matter of where he is, because I feel like it's possible that him, I mean, obviously one of them is a top man to a seaman, so I gotta figure out where exactly. That would... Here I can't tell where he is, or here. Here he's down below with his other two Russian friends playing cards. And then here. Oh. He's a topman. This is this is up top, wasn't it? Some position wears the same uniform. Yeah, I noticed that with the midshipmen. We look here. This is at the top. I'm gonna go that this dude here, our buddy. He is Le uh, Leonid Volkov. That's what I'm going with, Leonid Volkov.
landed. Okay. And it's hard to tell if that is confirmed yet because if that is good, we still have to get two other things correct because they, they are, they confirm every three. I should probably run through the doom section again because one of these people is going to be a frenchman he's not a frenchman he's not a frenchman he could be he could be could be well no because it was because he was killed by the beast let's go to this one first i have a strong feeling for this one. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, we're, uh... Moving right along. Making pretty decent progress today, but... More so... I'm just, I'm... Fucking excited that we're already at $676 raised. Almost there for that merch giveaway. Exploded. <laughs> he most certainly exploded. <laughs> what was that, dude? All right, so he definitely exploded. We got that. But what is his name? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? All the way to the start with him. We'll work our way through. Okay, this one is down by the starboard walk on the Orlock deck. Here's the Orlock deck. Oh, is this it right here? Shit. Fuck it. No. Yeah, we did this one before. I recall this now. So now we just gotta find... Kid pukes. Get true to skull in stoner brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? What? Never been on a farm, John. Mind your shoes now. <laughs> Yo, Mickey, what's up, my friend? How are you? Alright, so that's him. He was right there. He's not Charlie. 
That's Charlie. We know all about Charlie. So we've got this one wrapped up in the books pretty well. Am I ready to be reborn? Yes. I need like three tokens, I think. Okay. Got through that spot. The next one is the murder scene. So this one is a floor above me in the first mate room. Okay. Okay. Who are you? Oh! Edward Nichols killed you. That sucks. Sorry, dude. Uh, that's Miss Lim. You know her. The guy we're looking for was somewhere around here. No, that's the Danish guy. Not that dude, but he's in some fucking pain. That's the other Russian. So who am I looking for again? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I don't think I've seen him yet. Can't open that door. Oh. Boo. Right here? Yep. Laying down on the job. Holy shit. Well, not much I can do there. Wow, he's been dead this whole time. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that does that. At least we're able to say like, hey, we know for a fact you got shot by Edward Nichols, the second mate. Still don't know who you are, but good start. This time we need to go all the way back between the stairs, okay. Yep, I've seen this one before. I just want to find him. Fry us a solid meal. So this, yeah, that's right. This dude's the chef, not the butcher. They fucked that up before. Quick. This is the cook. Thomas Sefton from England. For sure. Now, where's my other boy here? Not you. 
Not you. Those look like stewards. I know who this dude is, but we still can't figure out who he is. Uh, that guy... He's about to lose his neck. Yeah, he's definitely a midshipman. Because these are all the midshipmen, but I don't know... That's Charles Heshtuck, okay. This is a boy that exploded. The, this is the other guy, the third one. He got knifed. So, still not very helpful though in terms of getting information out of who this dude is. But it's, it's a 50-50 shot at this point of who he is. But I'm gonna go another chapter which is him seeing the same thing, so this dude's dying. And then, all right, there's a big jump now. This is, go down one towards the middle, okay. Nice, okay. Okay. No, oh, not that dude. That's the butcher. There's these two dudes, but I don't think we worry about them at the moment. This is a midshipman. But it's Charles Heshtuck, I remember that. Here's the other midshipman, so this is our boy right here. Yeah, exploded. So he's just fighting off the fucking thing with a sword. Still have no idea exactly who he is in that in that regard, but let's go up one more. She was there when Charles got burned to death. That one is behind. Oh yeah, let's go let's go see that. to rule it out. He is gonna be... I went the wrong way, shit. He's right here. Yep. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We tried to save him. Not super helpful. Here's the other one. Yep. Okay. So we're done with that one. What's the next one that he touches? So when the Butcher is spiked by the beast. Okay, and this one is over to my right behind the stairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the butcher. He got butchered. I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Oh, oh. Oh, this is him probably putting the fire out. Yep. Alright, so he's putting a fire out there, so that's not super helpful. No one talks to him. Okay. 
next the very next one this one is oh up and around that's right i remember this little spot cheeky bastard here it is okay Busted. Where is the gunner? I bet you this dude's the gunner's mate. Wearing the same thing, Olas Viet, uh, Viter. I'll give it to him for now. All right, where's my boy in this one? Oh, I think I'm still putting out the water over there. Yeah. I think I'm still putting the water out. Okay, so... That caused that. But a little bit of progress there. I, I hope. Next. This one. This one is... Up above. Okay. Uh, I was hoping I was going to finish this game tonight. I thought maybe I'll get all these done. What was I thinking? <sighs> oh, excuse me. Right here. Oh. This is him probably right here. Yep, she's just falling down the stairs. God damn it. I'm just gonna say this is the beast that killed him. Oh, well, first by loose cannon, but we don't know who he is though. Okay, that's where we give up on that. All right, let's see. Here we go. Bam, 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 bam. What's next? He dies in the very next one. Shit. Alright, so we know he's a midshipman. And for those curious, the midshipman is an officer in training, assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations, usually of privileged status. So, like, that's, that's fine. The crew, in terms of midshipmen, there's not that many left. I mean, there should be two. Oh, yeah, there's two. So it's either Peter Milroy or Thomas Lanky. Oh, 
Unknown. Hmm. We'll put unknown midship in for now. Otherwise, I'm not too sure. Yo, Holly, what's up? Welcome in. How you doing? Wall as well. I removed the bookmarks. And I want to see if I can get this dude figured out. Remember that. Okay, just glad tomorrow's Friday. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, unfortunately I'm on call. Um for the weekend, but it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get to hang out here and play this fun game and raise money for charity. Like, I'm good. Yeah, I, got a, I got two calls tonight, but that was it. Oh, you were here. Oh, okay. So you weren't super helpful. Thanks. Damn. Hmm. Okay, so that wasn't super helpful. Um, let's start at the top with this guy. Bitter cold. They won't they don't mention his name at all here. Tree, I thought you were sleeping. Thank you for the hydrate. Did that one. I guess we'll do this one then. Very front of the gun deck, or, or technically back of the gun deck. I have the stream up though. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> the gun deck, and he's in the back here somewhere. Ah. Fucker. That's gotta be him. Yep. Okay. That man just shit himself. Oh, that's why he shit himself. <laughs> that's how that's how the artist died. That's super sad. <laughs> Oh, that blows. Meanwhile, where's our buddy with the cool tattoos? They're all sitting down here, chilling. Yeah, he's definitely a steward. All right, so he was one of the ones probably sleeping, unless he was up another deck. I guess he could be. Oh, no, not you. Not you. Not you, definitely not you. Yeah, I think he was sleeping. 
So that's why they included him here in the scene. Shit. Okay. That's fine. Next. <laughs> All right. Next. Uh, is this dude on the gun deck? Go back a ways, halfway back to the right. Oh, yeah, this dude. Yep, 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 I recall this. Wait, what's on his shirt? Oh, just a fold. Right. What's up, bud? How are you doing, my friend? Oh, here he is, right here. Alright, so again, not very helpful. But I think he is a, what do they call him, a ropesman? Because he was up top. Let me see what the, uh, well, let's keep going here. He'll be in the same spot there. I think he may have been a ropesman or something. I don't know what to do. Glossary. Rigging? The network of ropes and chains. No, 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 no. Uh, it could be a topman. It's a helmsman. Rated seaman to control the ship's wheel and general moment to own navigation. There's a general crew operation of the equipment of the ship. Uh, gonna hit the hey, hope you've had a good stream tonight. I have, thank you, Fry. Get some good rest tonight, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Have a good Friday tomorrow, too. Um, shit, okay. don't know there's much else I can do right now without going through like the twos I think that's what it's gonna have to do next because like this might be right it might not be right oh set anything off. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Lots of these are twos, threes. Got a good chunk of the ones done. I think they've. I've only. Yeah, there's only a couple left. Yeah. Well, it's five of. Why don't we, uh. Why don't we fucking call it here? Auto saved. Good. Do the cook. Oh, I did do the cook. Um.
Uh, uh, excuse me. Thomas Sefton was speared by a terrible beast. Wait. Yeah, he was sitting right by the fucking thing and it speared him. No, it wasn't struck. Oh, spiked. I bet you it's spiked by a terrible beast. Oh, it's time, baby. Oh my goodness. Yo, Fred against cancer, welcome in. Hello. Goth, welcome in. Michael. NYCG for life, welcome in, welcome in. Hello, Raiders, hello. Are you playing lunch, lady? Oh, oh, Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> lunch lady is a good game, I haven't played that in a minute. It's a lot of fun, nice. I was actually just wrapping up here for the night too. I apologize. Um, I've been playing uh, Return of the Oberdin, which is a very good like mystery detective game. Uh, hello, welcome all raiders. Uh, my name is Juggernaut. You can call me Jug or Juggy or Juggies. All of these. Um, I'm a 99% horror streamer and then 1% miscellaneous, like what you're looking at today. Uh, the art looks interesting. Yeah, it's it's really good. I really enjoy it. Um, uh, just a real quick uh, point too, since we're all here, and um, I'm actually, like I said, I'm gonna be switching it up here. So, um, oh, Diana's here. Hey, Diana, how's it going? The chesticles, oh my God. So, um, right now, through the end of this month, um, as part of my stream anniversary month, uh, I raise money for Hope for the Day, which is a nonprofit organization that uh, helps um, assist with different services that uh, for like mental health and suicide awareness and prevention. So, if you look at the top left hand corner. Uh, we're actually up to $676. Uh, we had a couple of donations tonight, which were super cool. And uh, we're currently like $24 away from a merch giveaway, where I'd be giving one, one uh, each of the new items. And there's 12 new items in the store. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want more in information on that, it's in the chat for you there. It's all through, you can do it through Tiltify. Um, if you wanna make a donation, which you can use um, the panel below or the link there. Uh, also, any money that comes in from subs, bits, uh, the sound alerts or blurb extensions, all of that money just goes right on into that figure at the top. Uh, I'm doing good, Diana. I'm just, uh, my brain is mush after that. Uh, uh, this game is, it's a lot of thinking, a lot of, uh, a lot of detective work, but it's fun. Extra happy raging now. We love getting the word out for charity streams. I, I figured with, with your name, absolutely. Yeah, please, 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 please. I don't anticipate anybody to just, you know, to just throw money at it anytime. Um, Cause obviously we live in a, in a world where money fucking drives a lot of shit. Totally get that. Um, so please only give if you absolutely can and want to for that matter. Um, but yeah, share away, share that link, let everyone know um, how to assist with this. Uh, we got a, a big stretch goal this year. We got, we broke over $2,000 last year. So I, I pushed the ante a little bit up to 2,500 this year. Why is it most times I pop in your ending? Cause you wait until this time. You know I end at one o'clock Eastern. Come on, Guthrie the rope. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Well, let's, uh, let's figure out who's on. And we'll get a, we'll get a raid going. Uh, but I will, by the way, I will be back on Saturday. So, um, and, and let me give you a bit of a, a little teaser what we're doing. 
if you haven't checked out the schedule. Uh, on Saturday, I'm actually doing a VR horror stream that was turned, it was redeemed via a milestone here on, uh, during the Jugtober month. And uh, I have to play the Exorcist Legions VR game. Um, it's gonna be terrifying. I've only played one other VR horror game and it was fucking scary. So if you wanna know when I'm gonna be on, I'll be on around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday to play that. Um, highly recommend hitting that follow button if you haven't yet, if you're digging this content or you're looking forward to checking that content out on Saturday. And, uh, and definitely you wanna be around any Jugtober stream. Again, in 20, $24 away, I'm giving away 12 different merch items. All you have to do is be here and say something in chat and it's gonna randomly grab a name. You don't have to pay for the product. You don't have to pay for the shipping and handling. You just choose the color variant and the size. You put your address in. Everything else is taken care of for you. So it's gonna be a big giveaway. Um, will you announce when you do it? Uh, yeah, I'll probably ding uh, Discord. Um, so you have to make sure you have uh, make sure you have uh, the uh, notifications on. And just like that, it pops in the Discord link. Yeah, if you're not in the Discord and you want to know then for that type of uh, for those types of announcements, last minute type of stuff, that's where you want to be. Um. Let's see, I think I'm going to want to raid um, Habitual Kiwi, she's a good friend of the stream. Um, she is actually um, moving away from streaming, unfortunately, um, or taking a long time off from it. She has a lot of stuff going on in life. So she is actually, uh, yeah, she's on her second to last stream. And she's playing Little Nightmares 2, which is an amazing game. If you've never play, played the Little Nightmares games, um, first one was incredible, second one was jaw-dropping. And they just recently announced a third one as well. Yeah, do as long as you do it, everyone that I'll see it. Yeah, perfect, yeah. I'll do, I can easily do an announcement for that. Um, so yeah, we're on the road to a thousand followers and it's a great way to stay on top of when I go live if you don't want to be in Discord um, or anything else for that matter. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start wrapping up stream here. I'm gonna go fucking chill for a bit and hopefully I don't get any more calls for the next two hours. Um, yeah, if you want to do me a big favor, if you happen to be a subscriber, the top line there, which I will uh, paste in again, that is for subscribers, has the emotes there. Uh, feel free to use that one. Otherwise, you can use the second one, which has the pickaxe and the red raid message. Um, it's a generic emote. You can also use any other emotes that you have. It's, it's all good. Um, and if you're interested in following me on any other platform, stay up to date or, or catch old content, um, you can actually find me on YouTube. I upload VODs. Um, I've been very behind. I keep forgetting to upload them, <laughs> but typically they're up there within a couple days of the live stream itself, um, as well as YouTube shorts of some of the best clips that we have. Um, if you prefer watching the short clips, um, on TikTok, I'm also on TikTok, uh, Twitter or X, whatever we're calling it nowadays. Uh, I make announcements there, share memes, I share my information about um, Ghost Cult Magazine, which is an online website that I write music reviews for. If you're into, uh, if you're into music that sounds like this, I guess, <laughs> uh, that might be up your alley as well. And last but not least is Discord. It's the home away from home for the Jug Mob. Um, we have questions of the day bots. We have community watch parties. We have community game nights. We'll watch wrestling together. We'll listen to music, share music. I mean, we do it all. We have a great time there. So if you are an active, if, no, you don't have to, I'm going to say active Discord user. If you, if you use Discord and you don't mind jumping in on another server, being part of a community through Discord, Highly recommend you click that link and join our server. You won't regret it, I'll tell you that much. Um, but with that, we're gonna close up shop.
Um, if anybody that happened to come in through any of the raids tonight, uh, or anyone else that happened to just jump in, um, thank you, Rope. Um, if you're looking to want to make a donation later, uh, whether that's just being off stream or another stream, whatever, it doesn't matter. The link is always going to be live as long as Jugtober is going on in this month. Uh, so you can use that tilt to find like at any point in time. Um, and I will eventually see it because uh, it will update the bar automatically. I don't have to, I, we don't have to be live for it to do that. Um, yeah, let me get this raid going. Over the raid buttons work today. It looks like they are good times. All right, we'll get that raid to Kiwi going. So yes, yeah, so this is Kiwi second to last stream. Um, maybe ever, we don't know, but it's definitely an indefinite hiatus type of deal. So you know how much you are at? Yeah, top left-hand corner, $676 even. Thank you, Twy. Appreciate you. Um, oh. Yeah, we're going to eventually come back and play um, this again and try to wrap this up. But I don't know if it's going to be during Jugtober. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out. Uh, a lot of stuff I, I'd like to do before Jugtober ends. And then I'm also going to uh, New Orleans the uh, from the 6th to the 10th of November. So it's going to be... Um, it's going to be pretty, pretty hectic the next few weeks. But good hectic. Chaos, if you will. But... That's all I've got for tonight. I hope to catch you all back here on Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Smash the follow button if you haven't, so you remember when. Uh, and we'll be back with a VR stream, playing the Exorcist Legion. Holy shit, I'm going to die. <laughs> Until then, be good. Catch you later. Bye.